So with Pinia, there are two different ways we can set up a Pinia store. We have option stores and we have setup stores. Let's take a look at option stores first. So in an option store, we have three different clearly defined sections, state, getters and actions, which you can see here. And state is where all of our data is stored. So this is where we would put all of our entries data, for example. Actions are methods for manipulating the data in the store, such as this increment action that you can see here. And getters allow us to get some data from the state in our store, possibly manipulate it in some way and then return a value. And the return value of a getter will always update itself automatically if its dependencies change. So in this example here, this getter is doubling the count property that's in the state. So if that count property in the state is set to one, then this double count getter will return two. And then if the count is changed to four, this double count getter will automatically update and return the value eight. So the option store is the original kind of store for Pinia, and it's quite similar to the options API, which we use with view two apps. But let's take a look at setup stores, which is the newer way of creating a Pinia store. And it's a lot more similar to using the composition API. And in a setup store, we don't have the state getters and actions sections that we do in an options store. And instead, any refs or reactive objects in our setup store will make up the state of our store. Any computed properties in our store will make up our getters in that store. And any functions in that store, such as this increment function, will make up the actions of our store. So let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of each type of store. So for option stores, the pros are it's quite easy to understand because of the clearly defined sections in our store, state, getters, and actions. And we don't need to explicitly return all of the state properties, getters, and actions that we want to make available to our components, like we do in setup stores, as you can see in this return statement at the bottom here. And the cons of option stores, they're not as flexible as setup stores, they make it more difficult for us to access our other stores and our composables and they can make it difficult for us to use certain view functionality such as watches and also we can't have full control over the order of our code we have to put all of our state properties in this one state section and we have to put all of our getters in the getters section and all of our actions in the actions section now for setup stores the pros are, they give us the freedom to organize our code in any way we like. So we don't have to have all of our state properties lumped together in one place and all of our actions lumped together in one place. We can instead group related state actions and getters together and organize our code however we like. Another pro is they allow us to easily access other stores and composables, and they allow us to easily use view functionality such as watches. And the cons are they're a little bit more confusing at first without the neatly organized sections that we have in the option store. And we also have to remember to expose explicitly any state actions and getters that we want to make available to our components. And that's what this return statement at the bottom is doing here. And there's no right or wrong choice here. It's perfectly fine to use either an option store or a setup store. And you just need to choose whichever style works for you and your project. But in this course, I'm gonna be using a setup store for two reasons. One, because I've never covered setup stores before. And two, because we're actually gonna be using watches in our stores. And this is much easier to do with a setup store. This video is taken from my full course, Quasar version two, cross-platform apps with Pinia and Veet. To get the course, go to makeappsacademy.com and click on Quasar V2, cross-platform apps with Vue 3 and Pinia.